Hello and welcome to Jay's Studio. Uh, real quick video today um, as a start to a number of videos I'm going to do on the ER20. Uh, this uh, printer just arrived today. I'm in the middle of assembling it um, and I'm going to be doing some videos uh, as part of uh, testing it uh, for everyone. Um, they've had a number of people do these and so there's plenty of assembly videos out there and like first prints and things like that. I'm going to concentrate on things like hardware upgrades, uh, calibration, EEPROM settings, uh, getting uh, getting our extruder uh, all set up, getting the software all set up, and the uh, firmware all set up. Uh, those are the videos I'm going to be doing uh, so that the uh, printer can perform its best. Today, this is just a real quick video on a what's known as a, the hot end fix. Uh, these hot ends, uh, which are common to everyone, but they're also common to Creality and Ender and other printers. For example, here is uh, the Thinker SE. Uh, the large volume uh, Area 1 printer, and it has exactly the very same hot end as the ER20, uh, also needing this fix. Uh, these, uh, these printers, Area 1's, uh, the, the hot ends tend to, uh, from time to time, uh, tend to have trouble skipping, uh, skipping over here. I'm sorry, you can't see it where the, where the camera is. The extruder itself, sorry, uh, the gear will skip as it tries to push the, uh, as it's trying to, the, to uh, push the filament through the Bowden tube uh, down through the hot end and the nozzle. Um, and although you can alleviate this by just upping your temperature, sometimes that will take you out of the realm of very good temperatures for printing, might cause additional stringing, things like that, and sometimes doesn't even solve the issue. So this is a common issue. It's, um, if you Google uh, hot end fix, uh, you'll find them across any number of printers, and this one is a pretty standard one. Uh, again, so really quickly, how do you do this fix? One, um, the uh, one you need to go to Thingiverse. Links down in the description. You're going to print this. This is a jig. Uh, it's not part of the fix itself. It's a jig for cutting out a portion of tubing that you're going to need to put down into the printer. Um, quick note. What I'm showing you today is going to actually just use common Bowden tube, uh, PTFE tubing, and I'm going to be using that to throw down into the hot end. Uh, that's not the best solution. Capricorn tubing is better. Um, and I just don't have any on hand right now. There's more coming in in a couple of weeks. I'll wind up pulling all this and redoing this again. Uh, but that's okay. The concept is the same. You're going to take your tubing, whatever you're using, right? You're going to load up your jig, push it all the way in. You're going to take a straight edge, or you're going to take a uh, Zacto knife or something very nice and sharp, and you're going to cut straight down all the way through the tubing to get a nice straight cut. And this is going to give you a 36 millimeter length of uh, length of tubing that then is going to go down into here. Then what are you going to do? You're going to need to take off this nut, right? Um, you can depress the little press washer there to actually move this once you get it out of there. You're going to have to remove 36 millimeters of tubing from this tube, or else you're going to have an incorrectly uh, an incorrect length of Bowden tubing for this overall uh, setup jig here. Okay, so um, you're basically replacing it with what you've cut uh, down into there. You're going to push your tubing. I mean, and you're going to need to push it all the way down till it makes contact with the nozzle and gets nice and flush inside there. So you're going to actually push it fairly far. Then comes the relatively tricky part. Um, all of this is really straightforward. At that length of Thingiverse, you're going to find washers to print. They're tiny, all right? Basically, it allows 1.75, you know, the, our standard uh, diameter filament uh, to go through a little hole. Uh, it's hard to get this to... There we go. Uh, so it's got a hole in the middle. It's got a straight side that actually sits on the bed when you print it. These are tiny. They print in just a couple of minutes. Um, and then the top is some of what, what's going to face upwards is actually a little bit of a concave surface. I find that the included Phillips screwdriver with your Area 1 printers uh, works as a great little jig to, to actually push through there. Just double checking that I've got the flat side down and the concave side up. Now this is tricky because it is a tight fit. So this may be a little bit more uh, more involved than you know, but I just, you know, kind of set it up with the jig. It works just fine, uh, the jig of the thing. And then I will just take uh, a 
a toothpick or something like this to like kind of move the washer down into the groove or into the groove. Um, of note, you're going to want to like sand the outside of your washer before sticking it down in here. It's just it just fits. It's a very tight fit, and uh, and it as it's supposed to be. So this is not meant to be like just slide down in there. It's meant to actually be something you have to get uh, get down in there with a little bit of determination. So I'm just getting it, getting it pressed down up against the Bowden tubing. Um, if you sand the outside and make it smooth, this will make this step a whole lot easier. All right. Everything seems pretty good to me right now. Everything seems very tight. Let me get the video or let me get the camera up so you can see it. Um, see how the washer sits directly on top of the uh, the tubing that you put down there, but it is fairly deep into the hole. It's not just uh, there's plenty of th you need the threads uh, for your your bolt, obviously, and then you're going to even as you screw this in, it's going to compress it even more. This is going to help keep you from having skipping problems uh, with your filament through the Bowden tubing. It's a common problem with Airy One and other printers. Uh, this is not something that, uh, that, that only happens to a few people. It happens to pretty much everybody that owns these. Um, I, I should, one last thing before I let you go for this particular video, um, I, and I'll, I'll continue to video while we put this in just to, just to show you how this works, but PLA is fine for those washers. Uh, even if you're going to be printing PETG, ABS, obviously the cap, the tubing, you're probably going to want to be Capricorn tubing so you don't have just standard Bowden tubing uh, sitting up there right against the nozzle. But the heat creep back up uh, up uh, to this particular point is just not going to be a problem. Uh, that washer can be PLA without any issues whatsoever. So now we've got, um, now that we've got our, uh, our washer and our tubing in there, th we're going to take the nut and kind of depressing this, move it down and get it started uh, so we can get everything squared away. And then we're going to take our 10 millimeter wrench. Here is what the size is. And we're going to tighten up our screw. Now, of note, your Bowden tube is going to want to spin unless you hold. Notice what I'm doing with my thumb. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. I'm holding the black thing down to allow the, this Bowden tubing to be relatively loose. So that keeps it from spinning completely around, which you don't want to put a lot of torsion on your, on your Bowden tubing because that's what your filament's going through. And it's going to, this portion post the extruder is going to have a lot of pressure inside it uh, as that drive gear extruder pushes filament through um, the Bowden tube, so up against the nozzle. As far as how tight to go, um, it, you don't want to like, you don't want to strip the threads, you don't want to be crazy with it. The flip side is, is that you need to, uh, kind of tighten it up until you'll feel it kind of just stop. Um, so you're going to snug it up and that's it. That's where it is. Notice I didn't put a lot of whatever, that's just kind of where the, um, and if you, and if you want to see how this all kind of works, I mean, I can pull this Bowden tube right out, uh, with this, uh, depressing this, this, this plunge washer, and then I'm going to stick it in nice and tight, um, up against the washer and the piece of tubing that we just put in the hot end. That's it. That is the hot end fix. Um, it, like I said, go to the links down below in Thingiverse, uh, that'll link you to the, to the file, the jig and the washers on Thingiverse, print them out. Um, and you'll have zero, zero issues. This is a really easy fix to do, and you won't be dealing with the dreaded skipping uh, when you're trying to print uh, um, all your cool models. Anyway, see you next time with some more stuff on the ER20.